Okay, so today I'm checking out this Fender CD60CE. This is the 2009 model. It's an electro acoustic. Um, they do do a newer version, which is the 60SCE. Um, it has the Fishman pickup. Um, yeah, this is slightly different. This is the older one, so it's got the Fender pickup. Um, huge, you can pick these up anywhere between sort of um, 80 to 150 pounds, depending. You know where you get them from, but um, yeah, really nice guitar. It's in like a gloss black finish. This has got quite a few little dings on it. Um, Share the condition. Got a few little marks on the bottom and around the body. It's also got a silica bag stuck in there somehow, but yeah. So it's um, laminated mahogany back and sides, solid spruce top. Um, you've got a rosewood bridge with a synthetic uh, saddle on there, sort of compensating saddle. So it's got a rosewood fingerboard, um, 12 inch radius, sort of medium jumbo frets, 20 frets, 25.3 inch scale I believe. So you've got your cool looking Fender decal on there. Um, there's your preamp, just a Fender preamp, so it's got a uh, built-in tuner, you got sort of bass, middle, treble. Uh, the battery goes on the top there. On this one, the input jack's in the strap button, but on the newer version with a Fishman um, preamp, the battery goes in the sort of on the corner there, and that's where the input jack is, is as well. But um, yeah, this has got the gloss back at the neck. Yeah, really nice looking guitar, nice and loud. Um, so I'm going to run through a few sounds. I'm going to play with a pick. I'm going to do a little bit of finger picking. So I'll play it acoustically in the room with the camera mic, and then I'll play it again, plugged in through the preamp, so you get an idea of what they sound like. Um, I was in a band a couple of years ago and I used a Sunburst version of these playing a few gigs live and it did actually sound pretty good. We, um, I played a gig where I had it sort of mic'd up and another gig where we had it through the PA system and yeah no problem at all. The only thing I'd say is you have to have the volume just backed off probably about halfway because it did tend to get a little bit of feedback but yeah it sounded really good. Um, I always set these sort of the, the EQ to just halfway, volume halfway, so give you a good idea what they sound like. So I'm going to start off just acoustically with a bit of finger picking. <laughs> So now I've got it plugged in, so I'm going to play it with the preamp. play with a plectrum now so this is acoustically in the room with just the camera mic So playing again with a plectrum and this time I'm going to be plugged in using the preamp.
Okay, so there you go, that was the Fender CD60CE um, electroacoustic guitar. So you've got your Fender preamp, this, again this is the older model, uh, the newer uh, SCE has the Fishman preamp. But yeah, these are still great guitars, you've got your mahogany laminated back and sides, solid spruce top, mahogany neck, rosewood fingerboard, 20 frets, 25.3 inch scale, um, you've got the dreadnought body with the cutaway so you can get up there to your higher notes but um, yeah I quite like these I think they sound nice they're really loud in the room um, got that nice gloss black finish unfortunately it shows off all the dings and honest wear but I quite like that sort of thing on a guitar it don't really bother me so yeah let me know what you think in the comment section below whether you liked it acoustically plugged in um, finger picking or using the plectrum. Um, if you got one of these, let me know what you think of them. They do come in other colours. I used to have a sunburst one of these. Um, they do do like a solid mahogany colour. I'm not sure what other colours are available at the minute, but um, the newer ones, the SCE with the Fisherman pickup, they're sort of brand new, about £210. So it's a lot of guitar for the money. Um, yeah, I quite dig them. They just look the part as well. And it's got the Fender name. So yeah. Again, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, check me out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, The Meat Manifesto. Also, if you like the video, please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, um, hit the notification bell so you can get um, updates for all the new videos. Um, also, I've got another channel, The Meat Manifesto Adventures, where I do sort of travelling videos, vlogs, um, food reviews. I've started doing them on there, so if you're check that channel out as well, that'd be appreciated, that's the Meat Manifesto Adventures, but um, yeah, that's about it for now, so thanks for watching, have a good day, and I'll see you all soon.